So now we need to get ready to burn a hole in. Okay, I got a piece here all cut for my for my bow. What I did was I uh, put a little slit in the end here with my saw, and uh, same here, put a little slit in the end there. That helps to hold the string in place, keeps it from slipping. Put a clove hitch on there. And then I run it up through the slot and then uh, put a couple half hitches on it here. Alright, that should, that should hold it pretty good there. Run it over to the other end, run it through the notch. Want a little bit of, little bit of slack on it. So it'll go around the drill, and then I loop it around underneath of it. Uh, keep running the paracord is what I'm using here. Keep running that underneath to use up the slack. You want to keep this tight so that the, the cord doesn't loosen up. Okay, I'll finish this off with a couple half hitches. Hopefully that'll keep it tight. Initially it tends to work loose a little bit. And then you have to tighten it up a time or two. Okay, for a, for a handhold, <coughs> I'm using my Caribou Astragalus bone. And, uh, uh, if I didn't have this, I would just cut a piece out of a chunk of wood, and you need to lube it with a leaf, vegetation, that keeps uh, your hand hole from getting hot, and it keeps your spindle from wearing down. <coughs> okay, now we need to burn our hole in. <coughs> into the hearth here. Okay, that should be pretty good. <coughs> now we need to uh, notch it. Put the, the notch in there, the wedge, wedge notch. Now you need to need to run that that wedge right up to almost the center of the hole. Try not to go all the way to the center, and uh, don't make your notch too wide, because then 
uh, your your spindle want to kick out. You have a hard time keeping your spindle in the hole. See if we can get an ember. <clears throat> now, proper form. It's very important to success of the bow drill fire. What I like to do is I like to get this spindle completely vertical and then put my leg, adjust my leg up to the spindle, up to my wrist <coughs> instead of the other way around. Don't, don't put your leg there and then try to adjust the spindle to it. It's easier to Put the spindle where you want it and then adjust your leg. You want your leg to be straight up and down and lock your wrist into your shin and uh, keep your arm as straight as possible. That way you can put weight on the spindle with your back, with your whole body. It helps assist you to put weight on the spindle. Uh, instead of hunkering down here and trying to get it all with your wrist. That makes a lot more work. <clears throat> so, uh, straight leg and uh, this leg straight and out of the way of the drill, of the bow. Straight spindle up and down. Okay, we're ready to try it. Use a smooth steady speed that you can maintain for quite some time. Don't be in a rush right now. Try to keep your bow level. Okay, we're getting some good smoke here. I'll go a little bit longer here, just heat up that hearth. Alright, I think we're ready. So 15, 20 fast strokes, we should have an ember. Okay, we got an ember. <clears throat> 